Good evening everybody. Welcome to a rather windy River Avon. It is uh, Thursday the 28th of July today. It's about half six. I've come down just above the weir here. You can probably hear the weir in the background. Just to do a little bit of float fishing. I've uh, bought my Cadence CR10 match number two rod. 14 foot and my Abu Garcia 506 Mark II close face reel. I'm going to stick on one of these Drake Wagglers and just really see what we can catch. I bought with me some maggots, I've got some worms, got a bit of bread, a bit of sweet corn and a little bit of luncheon meat and I've just, just fancy doing a bit of float fishing just for a couple of hours just so it starts to get dark, I'm not going to stay too late. Just uh, have a bit of fun, catch whatever turns up really. There's all sorts of everything in here. I, I think there's pretty much every species of coarse fish you can imagine in this particular stretch aside, aside from grayling are they coarse fish it's sort of coarse game really aren't they but every other coarse fish i think swims up here uh, except maybe crucians <laughs> crucian carp i don't think i've ever known of one of them come out but everything else i've caught or known to be caught up in this particular area anyway i'm waffling aren't i what i'm going to do is i'm just going to get a little bit of ground bait in and uh, get a float on and we'll have a go Well, it's a cracking start. Oh, blimey. Oh, it's off. Well, I saw that and it was a decent old rud. <laughs> Unfortunately, it came off. Well, that's a shame. Got the rod on the go. <laughs> then weed. <laughs> Lovely job. Not as big as that one we lost, unfortunately. <clears throat> Never mind. Nice net full of rod. It'd be great fun. <laughs> well, I think I'm fishing a bit too deep at the moment just to catch these feathers. <laughs> Hitting this bait very, very shallow. I'm going to shallow up. Oh no. Might have been a wrong move. The blinker here. So difficult to catch rug without catching me. Lovely job. It's a lovely rod. <laughs> How's about that? <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Beautiful. And to have river rod on your doorstep is an uh, absolute bonus.
however, you have to put up with the bleak. <laughs> oh dear, this is great fun. Been cut the lads float fishing. Just fancy getting out, working at home all day. Just thought, yeah, fancy, fancy getting out. The wind's dropped a bit. Been quite windy today. The wind's due to drop even more. Just fancy the cut of ours. Nothing too stressful, too strenuous. Just a bit of float fishing. Well, that's some, that's some perch chasing some smaller fish this evening. Should have put, perhaps caught me perch bobber rod. There's some bleak and stuff jumping out all over the place. Round by the piers, and the pier over there. I'm sure they've been chased by, uh, by perch. Odd. To be fair, I'll happily catch some some rudd and oh, anything. Silver bream, tench, roach, chub. I don't mind. Nice mixed bag of dooming. I'm not actually fishing on the bottom of the moon, I'm fishing on the drop. So I'm probably not going to catch any tench, I'm thinking. I'm very, uh, very cautious about going on there. On the bottom, it's very easy down there at the moment. <laughs> I was uh, had a lot of eel trouble the one time I was here, and the chap I know is fishing here again. Not the other day, and I was chatting to him, and he said he's had lots of eels. Good to see them making a comeback. They were getting very rare at one point. So, um, not really geared up for eels, and you know they're like they just swallow the hook unless you set the gear up properly. So I don't think we'll, uh, don't think we'll get on the bottom. Oh. It's a reasonable fish. Can we catch some fish? Oh, this is. Hopefully it's a rug. It is. It's a nice one. Can't go in tonight. Ah, a bit of extra water in the river. Raining for a few days, it's a bit of extra water in the river. We catch some cracking rod. Huge. What's even better is they're getting bigger. <laughs> What's about that? Beautiful. Oh, this is great. Rud all the way. Fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely loving this. Brilliant. I've actually fished a pole down here, but uh, it's such a kerfuffle carrying all that gear. I could just bring a rod. <clears throat> I could do pretty much the same thing, only fishing to hand, really. Not fishing far out at all. So it's really it's more trouble at work. If we're not fishing here, there's, there's very little draw it on the water either. It's very easy to just drop this in and the only problem is the wind really. It's not particularly a problem. Earth pulling a float along very, very slowly. And you get a problem when the, the hook gets stuck on a bit of streamer weed, it's full of streamer weed. When you get when the hook gets full on a bit of, <coughs> stuck on a bit of stream of weed. Most of the time when it's pulling under at the moment, it's a, it's a rud. An old rud at the moment as well. Not from that solitary leak. Hope everyone out there is keeping well, enjoying the nice weather. It's broken a little bit. Topped the river up nicely. Ooh. Here. 
now we've had some flooding in the country. It's uh, due to rain again tomorrow. So I'm thinking I might head out after a barbell tomorrow if there's a bit of water on the river. There are various different rivers I could go at these days. So, uh, yes, it will be I think perhaps a barbell session tomorrow, just depending on how much rain we get in the night and tomorrow and how the rivers respond. But for now, I absolutely revel in catching these fellas. This is wonderful. I've got a bit of ground bait with me as well, but it's, it's just some old stuff. And to be honest, I think it might be doing me a favour, but it won't actually stick together. <laughs> it's sort of a bit of, bit of all sorts <laughs> stuff I've thrown together, all the bits of leftover ground bait. krill in there, a bit of chocolate orange method mix by the looks of it a bit of old hemp well as I say, just a bit of everything in there, all chucked in together it's that bubbling squeak of uh, <laughs> bubbling squeak of ground bait so all the leftovers chucked in together <laughs> yeah, and perhaps not bubbling squeak that's only two things isn't it more like uh, paella a bit more like that. Everything chucked in together. Don't mind the fish don't seem to care. There's plenty of bites. Unfortunately, lots of bleak at the moment. I hope this is a rod. <laughs> Round and round in circles. Oh, oh it is. A lovely one. <coughs> Blimey, it's absolutely crazy. Gotcha. Oh, that's a lovely one. Wow. How's about that? <laughs> lovely stuff. That's beautiful. Well, they're getting bigger. So I guess, but I'll do that probably half a pound that one. Somewhere around there. At the end of the day, this is a river, you know. A working river. A pound rud in here. <laughs> it's a good bit. All the bigger ones do seem to have vanished. So I was talking to my friend who fishes here the other day, and he fishes here quite, quite regularly, and he's been fishing here for years, and he was saying all the bigger ruds seem to have vanished. As, as of the bigger tench, he's been catching a few smaller ones. So that's a good sign for the future. God, I'm getting some bites now. I'm missing a lot of them. I'm going to change my hook thing. Whoa, no, 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 no. Well, we've got something on, and now we've got a pipe on. Bit me off. Well, whatever that was, Mr. Pike has now had, unfortunately. Hopefully, that means he'll leave me alone. It's full. Just had his dinner now. Hopefully. This is wonderful. It's literally a bite chuck. Absolutely fantastic. No. They are absolutely smashing it now. Mostly rud, I'm getting the odd bleak, but mostly rud. <laughs> wonderful. One stuff. 
God, I'm really competing for it now. I'm not going to have a late one, I'm not going to fish into dark or anything, I don't think. I'm not planning to at the moment. A bit knackered to be honest, I keep staying up and watching the Olympics late at night. Or should I say early in the morning. So, uh, I could do the early night. Really. Yeah, I'm planning one tonight, although, you know, plans change, don't they? <laughs> Just get this plastic bleak. And just whizzing around on the top. It goes near and they're on it. Flash. I don't get as many bites, but the fad is better off using the red. It gets plastic bleak. Easier. It's hard for you to see, I think. Obviously, the sun is going down all the time and it's getting a little bit darker. Oh, <laughs> they're absolutely mullering it at the moment. But I don't want to put a shot down the line and fish and get the bait through the water quicker because I'm going to miss out on some rud bites if I do that. But at the moment, I'm just getting leaked out. I am change of plan. To be honest, quite big, quite big. Bleak. <laughs> you just have to plow through them. Certainly not going to feed them off. There's absolutely hordes of them in here. Really a proper fish. The rudder. We're really on it today. We're juggling. We're <laughs> really, really on it today. Stripey had me thinking he was a big, uh, big rud then. <laughs> well, a percher in town now. Again, lots and lots of bleak, so I've put some shot further down the line. Eh? Bait's getting down quicker. And we're just catching perch now, which is uh, not what we're here for today. It's a bit of a shame. Keep going now. Mm. 
Yeah. Or is it a hybrid? I'm not sure. Look at that. <laughs> I think it's a roach. <laughs> You're a funny, funny looking roach. <laughs> wow. This roach I've had this year out of here. Let's try to move that. It's mad, isn't it? As soon as I change the shotting pattern, I'm changing the depth at all. Just change the shotting pattern. All of a sudden, I'm catching perch and roach instead of rud and bleak. It shows you little things make a big difference. Well, that's very much to me like a hybrid. <laughs> Excuse the fingers, but these fish are very, very lively. I don't want to drop them. But yeah, first hybrid of the year. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, guys, I'm not going to get too much longer. Not sure what time it is. It must be about half eight. I think. Look at how dark it is. I'm going to cut the hours. Very enjoyable cut the hours as well. Too much longer. <laughs> Play for the leak again. keep coming. It's starting to get dark. I might just go a little bit deeper. I'm about two thirds depth at the moment. About four foot deep. That's deep out for a minute. I'm going to go a little bit deeper. The, the sort of manic bites of the bleak and stuff are slowing down. So I'm going to put that size 18 on, we've got two maggots on. So you can't pick up a bonus fish or two. Absolutely grabbing it on the way down. Further round to the right I go into the sort of marina bit, the more, more red I catch. All stacked up in there. <laughs> I think that's rud number 105. <laughs> I 
I'm supposed to rain tonight and it's certainly clouding over I have to say. Not till about midnight though, so it shouldn't bother us. <laughs> well, the deeper I get it to go down, the bigger the fish. So let's hope that's quite a bigger one. The light levels drop. Actually, it can't be off state yet because the restaurant boat would have been here. Well, guys, head off my steak now. <laughs> Still catching. I'm not going to give it too much longer. But a thoroughly enjoyable couple of hours. It's nice to get out catching fish on the float. And not actually know what the next bite is going to be from. <laughs> She's uh, which is wonderful as well. That surprise, you just never know what you're going to catch in a river. Stayed off bottom so far. Because I wanted to fish maggot and I wanted to avoid the eels. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I put a worm on, I'll just get perched. And perched and perched. But we'll save that for another day. We'll go perch fishing again. made the mistake of putting white maggot on. It's getting absolutely mullered on the way down. Try not which one. Blonde is supposed to call I'm not sure how much difference a maggot colour makes really. I think <laughs> it's a lot easier for the fish to see a see a white one going through the water and then light levels are dropping. From that point of view I think it makes a difference but the maggots I'm throwing in are different colours and I'm sure they're all getting eaten. It's just that time of night where we might pick up a bonus bigger fish, perhaps a nice roach, nice word. Maybe even a tench, silver bream perhaps. So we'll uh, we'll give it a bit longer yet. Lovely drunken tourists cackling as they get off the restaurant boat. We have a restaurant boat that comes down here and uh, parks up. Everyone gets off. Usually half cut. And, uh, <laughs> and usually spends half an hour gawping at me 20 minutes and then goes away again. Right up in the water, these rubs. Yeah. Again, smashing it on the way down. So the boat parked up, 
a little bit quiet and then it's uh, again, eh? it feels bad to disturb the fish isn't it with the boat effectively drives through their living room I fished about a foot deep at the moment. Yeah, absolutely bag it up. <laughs> I'm just thinking if I get the maggots down a bit deeper, chance of a tench or a chub or something. Roach, maybe something that's a bit deeper in the water. A bit better. A bit better. Unless it's a perch, in which case, it's not a bit better. <laughs> Bad one, eh? That's not a bad one. Ah, there we go, Mr. Stripey. This <laughs> is getting a little bit bigger as it gets darker. A lovely, lovely word. <laughs> well, that's me done for the evening. I thoroughly enjoyed that. It's just, just what the doctor ordered. Just, just fabulous. A nice, relaxing session. Just coming out with a float rod, uh, some maggots and various baits, and, and just doing a little bit of float fishing to catch whatever came along. Nothing too strenuous this evening, and that's, that's as I say, just what the doctor ordered. I really, really enjoyed that. And of course, some lovely fish to boot. Nice mixed bag and a nice relaxing couple of hours so i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did now as i mentioned the weather is going to be rather rainy this evening and tomorrow so hopefully it'll dry up by tomorrow evening it's certainly going to put some some water in the rivers so uh, i think we're going to be out tomorrow um, try and take advantage of the conditions and, but until then thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed that tight lines enjoy your own angling if you get out Many thanks to the channel patrons for your support and I'll see you all again hopefully tomorrow.